Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. We are packing up our room, uh, getting ready to leave All Star Movies. But last night at 2.30 a.m., I was scrolling the app for no reason. I like to check the Walt Disney World dining, even when I'm at home. <laughs> However, that is true. However, we did find a Topolino's reservation this morning, so we are packing up. We're headed to Topolino's, and then we're off to Epcot. If you are new here, welcome. Hello, my name's Ivy. I'm a Disneyland local that loves traveling to Disney World and taking you all along with us. So come along, let's go to breakfast. We made it up to Topolino's Terrace for breakfast. It is definitely a different vibe up here for breakfast than it is for dinner. Here's our breakfast menu today. We have cocktails and non-alcoholic beverages on the top. We have our entrees, so our server said we could pick one entree and also get one as a side, which will come in a smaller portion. And then there's some additional beverages, coffee beverages down here on the bottom. AJ starting with some coffee. <laughs> Definitely needs some after our late night last night. Our food literally came out so fast. <laughs> so I got the quiche with potatoes, a salad with a lemon vinaigrette, and then for my side I got the sour cream waffles. AJ over here. Side of avocado toast. Yeah. Interesting. Got the avocado toast and then the steak and polenta. Look at that. Do you think that's the same steak as dinner? It said butcher's steak. Mm, so so probably not. <laughs> All right, check this out. We have some quiche, we have some potato. There is a lot of cheese and uh, prosciutto. Mm. Oh, Ooh, that's delicious. There's some good seasoning and flavors in there. I haven't had the quiche before, big fan. <laughs> Minnie just snuck up on him like that. Oh. I saw you coming, it's I okay. knew that was going to happen as soon as I took a bite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving this dress. It's very nice. Hey, it's I'm a, a messy bit, painter a too, it's okay. Happens. It's okay. It's the creative process. That's, yeah. yeah. Oh, you like my hat too? I had to get in the spirit with you, yeah. <laughs> so cute. Hello. I love the bow. Very, very cheap. Always the fashion yeah, for me. Yeah, you match. You look like twins almost. <laughs> oh, I well, 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 Donald. look who it is. You know, I don't know a lot of things, but I know who number one is. Donald is number one. <laughs> I, this is a known fact, right? Yeah, he just, he only think, we let him think he's number one. But we know you're number one. See? It's because you guys have matching hats. It's, yes, yeah, but I, should I put mine backwards like you? See, I saw that when, you, when I walked in, I said, oh, now we're three now. Oh no, AJ should never do that again. <laughs> A trip to the Riviera would not be complete without checking out what La Boutique has in stock. Because I want one of everything. Oh, uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Came into La Petite Cafe. Because we needed some delicious coffee. And then they also have some great looking pastries in here. I got my shakerado. It is a double shaken espresso. I asked for a splash of cream just to kind of cut some of the edge with a demerara sugar, like a, a brown, crystally, delicious sugar. Mmm, so good. AJ got a cold brew. And now I mobile ordered some snacks to take with us. We can go just straight through here. So we're gonna head to Primo Piatto to pick up my mobile order. It's a busy day out here on the Riviera for the lawn games. The kids took uh, the bocce ball court that I wanted to play, but that's fine. <laughs> One of my favorite things about the Riviera are the lawn games. Two, three, this way! 
Oh, we had to fight some kids to get this one, but, yeah. but we're gonna play cornhole. made it from the Riviera to the beach club. It's a little warm out today. Yeah, it's the warmest day thus far. Um, our room is not ready yet. And we're, I think we're gonna just kind of go inside and get in some AC, maybe do a little shop a and just kind of hang. Oh, it is not, it's not bad in the shade. In the shade, it's quite nice. Yeah. yeah. That's why I was thinking maybe, so the quiet pool here at the beach club villas is like one of my favorites. The music they play is so nice and relaxing. It's usually pretty quiet and fairly empty. You know, I saw on a Facebook, there was a gator out here. Oh, was there? Yeah. <laughs> Anytime we're around water, AJ wants to find gators, which the last two trips, he has seen one at the airport. So it like kicks off the trip on the right foot. <laughs> but those were the first times I'd seen them after how many trips to Florida? I know. Well, I went to some. I would see him everywhere. Oh, that's a turtle. I was like, what's poking up out of the pond? Oh, yeah, no, we saw turtles here before. Yeah. No, but I, I had seen, I saw the little gator in celebration. All right. We'll go in, enjoy some AC, pray for an upgraded room. We have made it into our beach club studio. Now, I, I know y'all have seen the Beach Club Studios here before, but I'll go ahead and show you a room tour in case this is your first video watching. Um, those of you that have been around know that we love coming to the Beach Club for one night for our last night on our trips, but you walk into your studio and I believe this may be an ADA compliant room. There are handrails around the toilets and there's handrails in our tub and shower. And then there's also like nothing underneath. So. We don't have a roll-in shower, but figure plenty of counter space. Now the beach club rooms are being renovated. The fifth floor is done. They're working on the fourth floor. We got the third floor. There's good news and bad news about us getting the third floor. The bad news is we don't have a renovated room. Um, on this side is our kitchenette. So up here, this is where you'll have all of like your paper goods. So your um, utensils, plates, bowls, napkins, we have a coffee pot, a microwave. They supply you with your coffee supplies and some tea. And we have a beverage cooler and our garbage and recycling. Then as a closet, we have our wardrobe. In here, you'll also find the extra blankets and pillows. There is the iron as well as the blow dryer. Look at that, and a vacuum. I don't know that I've ever seen a vacuum in the rooms here before. Then going into the bedroom, the Beach Club Studios do sleep five. So it is a queen size bed. There is a queen size pull out couch. And then over here, this little table and chairs pulls down for a twin bed. So there is a nice big flat screen TV 
And so the bad news is our room's not renovated. What that actually means is that they are not redoing everything in the rooms. So they're doing what's called a soft goods refurb. So they're getting new beds. All the new beds are raised beds so you can store like your luggage underneath. The couch is being replaced by one of the Murphy beds. From what I've seen thus far, this looks like it's staying. Um, so some of the furniture is getting replaced, but otherwise, you know, everything in the bathroom looks the same. The kitchenette looks the same. Uh, everything is just kind of refreshed a little bit. Now, the good news of our room, if I can, now these balconies are, are quite tiny. You can't necessarily open the door. We're gonna squeeze out here. Oh. The good news about our room, we're on the third floor and just above the tree line, if you can kind of see in between these trees, you can see the Eiffel Tower. You can also see the tops of the Skyliner. What that means to me is right here are going to be fireworks tonight for Harmonious. I forgot what it was called for a second but we'll be able to see fireworks for Harmonious from the third floor rooms, which is great because I thought only the fifth floor here could see. So yeah, so that's our studio. We just really love the beach club. We like being within a short walking distance to Epcot and the pools at the beach club can't be beat. After just some nice like rest and relaxation in the room. Vacation. Yeah. I was like, AJ, it's been four hours since we've eaten a giant meal. I'm hungry. <laughs> hey, it's been four hours since I've had a drink. <laughs> that too. In vacation, AJ, that's a long time. <laughs> so we're gonna go hit up the pool bar uh, out here for the beach club and yacht club. It's called Hurricane Hannah's. So we're gonna head out there. We enjoyed some bites and the views out at Hurricane Hannah's. Now we're gonna do a full review of our experience at Hurricane Hannah's and a pool bar face off. So keep an eye out for that. Seriously, this just will never get old. I, I, I think I actually know what it is. So we used to always walk by the beach club and the boardwalk and just go, oh, wouldn't it be so nice to stay here one day? Wouldn't it be so awesome to just be able to like walk into Epcot? Like it was like such a big deal. It seemed like an out of reach goal. And now this is what our third, it third, might even be our fourth. fourth. Three, fourth. Like that's, that's crazy. Mm. In a video full of time travel, we went to the offices at the World of DVC, got stuck in a rainstorm, and then made it back to the beach club. So AJ and I got stuck in a rainstorm. Well, let me revise that statement. A lightning storm. Uh, well, no, 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 no. It was a raining outside, sir. I dropped AJ off because his pretty little thing could not get wet. He would melt. It was for the camera. Thing. Yeah, he took the camera. And then I parked the car and ran, and he got this table. Now we are inside Martha's Vineyard. This is the lounge inside the beach club. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's not very busy right now, considering how much it's raining. Yeah. We got a few beverages. So AJ got the Celebrate Soulfully Pineapple Mule. Yes. This guy right here. Thank you. And I got the pink London spritz. Yep. Is that Correct. what it's called? I would never remember. But you um, customized it. I asked for the no pomegranate or green tea. So if you watched our review of Sanaa from our last trip, which I'll put a little link to that video, I got the same drink, but it was a little too sweet. So I got it without the pomegranate green tea and it's perfect. So for a little late night bite, I got the loaded tots. We have tots, cheese, bacon, sour cream. Looks like some chives. Heck yeah. AJ's wings came out. Is that wet blue cheese? Yeah. Heck yeah. These are good. The celery, it smells so good. It I can smell it from across so the table. Good. And also these, look, I, it's been like five seconds. Dude, they're so good. They're so good. We stopped over at the Beaches and Cream to go window. They have a few items. I saw this s'more shake in the distance, and then once I got closer, I realized it's a boozy shake, so none of that for me. But some things that are not on the menu is we did get some ice cream sundaes, and they will pretty much make whatever you need. So our fantasy tonight took us to some chocolate peanut butter sundaes. 
We just walked into the Beach Club Villas. And they have a spot for towels, dirty towels, because it was raining real hard. <laughs> well, that is a wrap on what should have been our Epcot day when we didn't go to Epcot at all. Thank you guys so much for coming along with us. We did a lot of eating and resting and eating and resting and uh, it's vacation, so that's totally fine. <laughs> Uh, but tomorrow we have a really exciting day. We're going to the Magic Kingdom to test ride Tron. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys tomorrow. It is our last full day. I'm always so sad when these come to an end, but we'll see you in the next one.